Hi, have you been asked to buddy a new doctor or a new intern this year? Well, here are six tips to help you be a buddy. Starting a new job in medicine can be hard and quite stressful. Do you remember your first day on the job as an intern or perhaps do you just remember how hard it is to start a new rotation? Often we feel a bit lost on the first day. How often can we seriously say that we just hit that ground running uh, and got off to a great start? So I'm a big fan of buddy systems. I think they really help to augment the formal orientation and induction systems. They can really help to make all that new learning stick uh, and help the new intern or new doctor feel a bit more confident in the first days of their job. And around this time of the year, we induct all the new medical graduates into the Australian healthcare system in Australia. So a lot of hospitals have developed buddy systems uh, where they pair existing interns or residents with the new interns to help them uh, and ease that transition. So sometimes these just go for the first week because there's a two week overlap, which is great. In better systems, they actually go longer than that and there's an opportunity for the buddy to meet up uh, after that first week. Uh, I would generally say a good buddy system should go for probably around six months. So if you have been asked to be a buddy to a new intern or a new doctor, here are six tips for you to help you in your role. Firstly, have a list. Your hospital should probably give you a list of things that they want you to talk to the new doctor about uh, or show the new doctor. But if they don't, get together with some colleagues and think about what should be on that list. Put everything down that you think that the new doctor needs to know. Then it's important that this list is prioritized because you don't want to overload people cognitively. You want to give them the important tactical information on the first day, some of the other really essential stuff in the first week, and then leave other things for a bit later on. And then of course, you will have to sometimes go back over things or expand on things. So put at the top of the list all the things that they need to know on the first day, then put down all the things they need to know in the first week, and then in the first six months. It's important to regularly check this list yourself and with your uh, new doctor colleague. Uh, go back over it and don't just assume just because something's been ticked off that that learning has stuck. You may have to, as I say, go back over a few things and re-explain or maybe give some deeper explanation and understanding. The second tip is patience. Give the relationship with your new doctor colleague time to develop. No one's gonna trust you automatically in the first day or so. Try to develop psychological safety and, and be open and try not to judge. It's not your role to ensure the performance of this new doctor, that's other people's responsibility. You're really just there to support and guide and understand. It's at these sort of occasions I like to call upon the basic assumption from the Centre for Medical Simulation at Harvard. You should always treat new doctor colleagues as intelligent, capable, caring and wanting to do their best and wanting to improve. So give them some time and help them develop their understanding. Ask more than once if they need support. Ask more than once if they're clear on things. I usually like the three times rule. Usually after the third time, someone's gonna open up and actually say, look, hey, actually, I think I might need a little bit more help here. Third tip, you're really not expected to be the expert on everything, even though you're probably the best expert on the actual role that this person's coming into, because hey, you've actually just been doing it for the last year or so. You won't know everything and you won't be able to answer every question. Probably the only thing that you'll be expected to be the expert in is the person who knows who to talk to if you don't have the answer to the question. You've been connected in the hospital health service for some time, so you're there to help the new doctor colleague by guiding them in the right direction to other people that can assist and also introducing them, so helping them to socialize into the hospital. Tip number four, just slow it down. As I said, buddy relationships take time to develop and not everything can be taught in the first week. So give them the important tactical information first, things like how to order the investigations, how to put in your timesheet, and then worry about the more complicated and deeper uh, questions and philosophical issues a bit later. They will come up once the new doctor has been there for a little while and started to notice things that maybe don't make sense or aren't the way it was described in the orientation session. We call this the, this is the way things really happen around here chat. Well, we call this the, this is the way things work. We call this the this is the way things work around here chat. And it's about you explaining the hidden curriculum to your new doctor colleague. Tip number five, 
try to stay positive. Being positive is, is infectious and new employees need positivity to feel confident about what they're doing and to grow into their role. Experiencing negativity on the first few days of the job is a real downer and can really shatter the confidence of a new doctor or colleague. Studies have shown that employees often have decided within the first week or months that they don't want to be part of an organisation and they usually do exit if things haven't gone well in that first critical period. You might have some criticisms of your hospital or areas for improvement, hey, we all do, but this is not the time to share them with someone new, keep them to yourself. Final tip, tip number six, being a buddy is not actually for everyone. There are situations where it's probably not appropriate for you to be a buddy. For example, if you're a supervisor of the new doctor, well, you'll be checking on their performance, so you can't really be their buddy as well. Or if you are new and experienced yourself, maybe you've only been there for a few months and actually don't know the role yourself, then you probably can't be a buddy. And finally, if you just don't have the time or the passion or you are experiencing significant negativity about you, you definitely should not put your hand up to be a buddy. So there you go, six tips on how you can be a good buddy for your new doctor colleague in medicine. On a personal note, I'd like to welcome all the new interns starting in the Australian healthcare system this year. Welcome, we're all here to support you. Uh, we hope you have a fantastic time in your first year and we look forward to seeing you on the wards. Other than reminding you about liking and commenting this video and subscribing and turning on notifications, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.